and welcome to the Autism Blogcast's Election Special Report. I'm Jim Mancini. And I'm Rafe Bernier. We'll start with the presidential release. The Clinton campaign responded to our request for information, and Secretary Clinton has outlined a comprehensive plan to support individuals with autism and their families. It includes expanding insurance coverage for autism services, conducting a nationwide early screening outreach campaign, increasing employment opportunities by launching a new Autism Works initiative, a focus on protecting children from bullying at school, and then investing in more research to deepen our understanding of autism, including the first nationwide study of prevalence in adults with autism. And, by the way, Secretary Clinton cited the Simons VIP study as a model for how science should be conducted. And, by the way, one of the principal investigators in that study is Seattle Children's own Dr. Raphael Bernier. Right, well, all I can say is that Secretary Clinton has outlined this plan on her website and that her views on science are spot on from my perspective. The Trump campaign did not respond to several requests for comment. What we do know about Mr. Trump's views on autism is from the following comments made during the Republican presidential debates. And I quote, autism has become an epidemic because you take a baby in and I've seen it and I've seen it and I had my children taken care of over a long period of time over a two or three year period of time, same exact amount, but you take this little beautiful baby and you pump, I mean, it looks like it's meant for a horse, not for a child, and we've had so many instances, people that work for me. Just the other day, two years old, two and a half years old, a child, a beautiful child, went to have the vaccine and came back, and a week later got a tremendous fever, got very, very sick, now is autistic. I'm in favor of vaccines, but do them over a longer period of time. Same amount, but just in little sections. I think you're going to have, I think you're going to see a big impact on autism. Moving on to local Washington races. Can I just say something? So, how much longer are we going to need to be dispelling the myth that somehow vaccines are causing autism. I mean, we have study after study after study. Rafe, how many studies have there been that have not linked vaccines to autism? Well, so there's been 10 really well-designed studies that have not found that. 10 studies. How many studies have, have linked vaccines to autism? Uh, so that would be zero. Zero studies linking autism to in vaccines. And a message to anybody running for election this year, please pay attention to the science and avoid conspiracy theories that are propagated by uh, celebrities or disgraced physicians. And by the way, vaccines do not cause autism. Thank you, Jim. Moving on to local Washington races. There are several races that are going to have an impact on the autism community and special education. One is the race for the superintendent of public instruction between candidates Chris Reichdahl and Aaron Jones. In late September, the Ark of King County partnered with other community agencies to host a town hall forum with the two candidates. That was moderated by Dr. Eileen Schwartz at the University of Washington and Eric Mathis, an advocate for civil rights. The town hall was recorded so you can listen to that discussion. Just follow the link at the end of this broadcast. There are also several bills that are set to be discussed during the next legislative session. One concerns funding the McCleary decision, which is the mandate on the legislature to adequately fund education in our state for all children, including children receiving special education services. Others include a paraeducator training bill, which sets training and certification standards for paraeducators statewide, and another bill that sets specific protocols regarding students being removed from classrooms due to, to disruptive behavior. So we, re we recommend that you contact the candidates in your districts to gain information on their views on these important topics. And remember, get out there and vote. Thank you for tuning in to our election special. We hope you join us next month where we'll be showing footage of our recent trip to China with Dr. Gary Stoby, where we investigated some of the walls that families with children with autism in China are facing. See you next month.